Welcome to a country of Thunder Dragon. Welcome to a country of happiness. Welcome to a country of medicinal herbs. High in the Himalayas sits this tiny little Buddhist kingdom, which is blessed with rich culture, soaring mountains, soulful rivers, and epic landscape. Did you know 70% of Bhutan is filled with forests, and it is a carbon-negative country? And this is not it, guys. Bhutan aims to build a society which focuses more on happiness rather than economic growth, and this concept is called GNH, Gross National Happiness. How amazing is that, correct? Like every other country, even Bhutan has its sets of rules and regulations that needs to be followed for tourism. So, in this video, I'm going to take you through the guidelines that we Indians have to follow to enter Bhutan and enjoy its rich diversity of culture and happiness. So guys, I'm going to share some important information regarding uh, the entry to Bhutan. First, you can enter Bhutan through two modes of transportation. Uh, you can enter through Paro International Airport, that is the only international airport of Bhutan. And secondly, you can enter through the land borders. Uh, there are various land borders and we enter through the Funchaling uh, border, which is basically the Funchaling is the part of uh, Bhutan and Jaigao is the part of uh, India. It lies in West Bengal. Uh, so that is the most uh, commercialized uh, border, land border. So the second important thing is, as you enter Bhutan, you have to mandatorily take a tourist guide with you. And uh, the guide charges are 1500 to 2000 rupees per group per day. Uh, next is, uh, you have to pay a fees of uh, 1200 rupees per person per night to the Bhutan government which is basically the Sustainable Development Fees, SDM. And then you have to also uh, go for a travel insurance. So uh, the next point is the currency. So currency of uh, India and Bhutan is same. So you can easily uh, use the Indian currency in uh, Bhutan as well. So that will not be an issue. Regarding the ID proofs, you better carry your passport. If not passport, you can carry your voter ID. No other uh, IDs like Aadhaar card or driving license will be valid here in Bhutan. And uh, regarding the passes and permits, uh, you can get the permits in uh, Funchaling border. And finally, regarding your accommodation, when you are a foreigner in Bhutan, you have to mandatorily uh, stay in a hotel which is minimum level of uh, 3 star. And the names of the hotels, you will get it in the Bhutan Tourism website. So guys, for our trip to Bhutan, which was a 5 night and 6 days, we spent 2 nights in Thimpu, 1 night in Punakha, and 2 nights in Paro. So today is the end, and uh, it was really a last minute trip for us, and we were really fortunate to have got hold of this guy, Norbu, who was our guide throughout this trip. Come here, Norbu. <laughs> And we also have Rigden. Rigden. And but we are missing here Kesan. <laughs> so Kesan, if you're watching this video, wholehearted shout out to you. So these two guys and even Kesan, they made our trip very memorable. And uh, if you want to contact these guys, I'll share the contact details in the description. Uh, they'll just make your trip very memorable. So Nobu, do you have something to say? Yeah, I have a lot of things to say. Yeah. Lot. And uh, of course, to all you, you only go. The per very first day I couldn't welcome you well. Anyways, like, uh, after coming to Bhutan, so uh, I came to know after you guys, you know, like, it was a very well experience, you know, the trip was fun. So we spent every day, you know, laughing, you know, sharing ideas, traveling, and everything was fun. Uh, and I hope, you know, after visiting here, you know, you're always coming here, and uh, the trip, I believe, like, you must have enjoyed it as well. And especially to the hotels and everything, you know, uh, everybody was very cooperative. And uh, at the end, I think like uh, the most uh, interesting track was, you know, like the tracking to the Tiger's Nest yesterday. It was just tiring, but we did it, right? And you think it's a, it's going to be a lovely for people like you, you know, you come from a very 
low elevation places and suddenly when you climb all this kind of high mountains and all, you know, you feel like sometimes, uh, I have come across so many experiences where uh, my guests, they tend to get their elevation sickness, altitude sickness and all. But it was nice that you guys didn't have any kind of problem. You guys completed that the perfect manner, you know, like uh, that's all it matters. So at the end of the day, you had a very good shower at that uh, the hot sun bath. And uh, in the evening, you had a very good dinner at uh, the hotel. Yeah. And yeah, let's see. And today we have a long journey to, uh, back to Finsulim, where I'll be dropping you off from there. And yes, uh, I'm looking forward to see you guys once again. If you want to come back, we are always here for you. So India, we will be the No, we never know about that one, right? So India, who's done in India is just like you know, we say, it's a brother. We have, a, we share that uh, the very good bilateral relationship between India and Bhutan. So normally we get a chance to, if you want to come to India, it's, it's not a problem. So we never know the car, you know, the world is a very small place. So you can do it, but yeah, yeah, sure, that's what I'm thinking about. Yes. I think uh, and Rick, then he must be having some views to share about. Uh, he learned like driving all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun with you guys. It was really fun, yeah. We had so, so much memories together and all. We did so many things. Went to karaoke and the sand. Yeah, it was, yeah, good. This trip was good, yeah. It was a memorable one, yeah. So thank you for coming here. So hope to see you guys again. Sure, good thank time. you for making our trip so memorable. We are just taking a lot of memories. That's all that matters, you know, like if you're happy, then all that matters. That's uh, why, so, you know, like uh, the trip, trip was really a last minute preparation for you. Yes. And uh, yeah, we did uh, figure it out and uh, everything went very smoothly. Okay, and uh, safe journey, you know, okay, it's back to India. And we'll keep it this anyway, alright? Sure. Keep it. Okay, so guys, you stay tuned and uh, behind me is the Paro International Airport. So signing off from here. Bye-bye, do like, share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. See you guys.